Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has ordered tighter security on the border with Belarus, where fighters from the Russian paramilitary group Wagner have been offered exile. Satellite images of a military base southeast of the capital Minsk appear to show new facilities set up in recent days, suggesting the sudden construction of a base for the Russian mercenary group. Belarus offered Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin refuge after he ended an armed revolt a week ago, the greatest challenge yet to Putin's rule in Russia. DW Russia analyst Konstantin Egert can tell us more. Ukraine, Poland and Lithuania are all bolstering their borders with Belarus. What are they worried about when it comes to the Wagner group? Well, Ben, uh, in 19, sorry, in 2020, 2021, uh, Alexander Lukashenko imported thousands, brought thousands of people from the Middle East uh, by deception, uh, telling them that uh, the European Union border is open and they should march into Lithuania, Poland and Latvia. Uh, and they will be received there with open arms. So uh, that was, as many here, for example, in Vilnius consider, the test of uh, the strength of the EU and NATO eastern border. Now, with the Wagner troops present in Belarus, I've spoken to people here and in Warsaw, and some experts are worried that uh, there will be provocations by the Wagner group, for example, shooting across the border, uh, which will put uh, the uh, defenses of these countries and more of a NATO to the test, whether it is a case of aggression or not. So no one here, uh, in Lithuania, as well as in Poland, uh, will be taking any chances. And I'm absolutely certain that the Ukrainians are going to do the same because uh, Belarus has been, in fact, a staging point for Russia's aggression against the country. So I'm certain that the government of Zelensky will be taking the, uh, the presence of Wagnerites in Belarus very seriously. OK, well, that said, would you say that these Wagner mercenaries have been removed from the equation when it comes to the war in Ukraine, or, or, or not really? Well, we do not know. It's clear that the government, probably the Russian government, wants them to play a different role. And if they are indeed in Belarus, then uh, rumors here in Vilnius is that they're going to train the generally not very well trained Belarusian army in uh, real combat that they experienced in Ukraine. So it seems that for now, at least, the Wagner group is out of the Ukrainian equation. And frankly speaking, it will not be having such a huge impact on Russia's military operations because uh, uh, the Wagner uh, fighters are were good at the so-called hybrid warfare, where it's all, you know, deniability and, and, uh, and, and actions by stealth. While during the siege of Bakhmut, which even by Ukrainian standards is not a big town, uh, they didn't show themselves to be such wonderful sort of efficient fighters, and the siege lasted for 10 months. So probably Russian army is not going to lose much if they're outside of the loop, at least for now. OK. DW's Konstantin Eger, thank you very much for the analysis there. Thank you, Matt.